Y'all see them in the street struggling, young, dumb, and thugging, give a fuck about nothing. Stuck at rock bottom, trying to come up on something. Pumping from sundown to sun. What's up, guys? Street Justice here. Welcome back to my channel. We are back for the reaction to Game of Thrones on this Game of Thrones Thursday. This is season three, episode one, Valar Doharis. Once again, Hopefully I'm saying it right. Either way, if I'm not, we're just going to roll with it. But uh, yeah, this is the season premiere, guys. I am super excited to jump right in this season and see what it has in store for us. I don't really want to make any new predictions until I've actually seen the first episode. Aside from one, I still think Theon is going to get his very shortly. I still can't believe that he actually made it out of season two. Like... That is freaking crazy. So he has to die shortly. We shall see, though, if he actually gets his this season. But uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have too many more predictions to make before we jump in. But yeah, it's been over weeks since I've actually watched this show. So I'm definitely excited to jump right in, check it out. I had to deal with some stuff mentally, physically, family, but that's all taken care of now. I just knew I had to take some time to myself so I could come back strong for season three. I don't want to die. I'm still on second season Game of Thrones. But we're here now. I'm excited to jump right in. Full reactions as well as my Patreon link is down in the description below. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, now's a very good time to click that button down below. Smash the like button while you're there. With that said, let's jump right in. Let's check it out. Let's go. <laughs> Interesting start. Sam's still alive. That's the most important thing. I guess the undead just didn't even deem him to be a threat. Brother. What? Holy shit. <laughs> nice! Come on, Sam. Who's this? Oh! They're still alive. Did you send the ravens? But we have to make it. Have to warn them. Or before winter's done, everyone you've ever known will be dead. It's a motherfucking giant. What? I don't stand too long, they're shy. Crazy. Okay, that is pretty cool. I didn't know there were giants in this show. He wants to be one of us. You're recruiting him. What's your name, boy? Jon Snow. Your grace. <laughs> I don't grace? think they do that here. Stand, boy. That's the real one? They don't nail for anyone beyond the wall. I didn't think that was the real guy. No. You're Ned Stark's bastard. Why do you want to join us, Jon Snow? Thousands of years ago, the first men battled the White Walkers and defeated them. I want to fight for the side. Ooh. Fight for the living. We'll need to find you a new cloak. He's in, badass Scar. I got a few of my own. Dog bite. Rototiller. What? It's your sister. What are they doing here? Protecting me, I assume? Will you let me in? No, I don't think so. If I wanted to kill you, do you think I'd let a wooden door stop me? Why are you here? I wanted to see your face. You said you'd lost your nose, but it's not as gruesome as all that. Of course, it wasn't a rebel who tried to kill me. No? Curious. Kind of a calm down from the chamber of the hand. Fuck you, Cersei. I suppose you need much room. Ran Mace the Pycelle made the same joke. You must be proud to be as funny as a man whose balls brush his knees. You're meeting father today. What do you want from him? Why are you so nervous about what I'm going to say to father? Because you're a liar. I expect you'll tell lies about me, about Joffrey. Any lies in particular? Look at these two shining warriors. It's uh, Talon Mant and... Uh, so who's it of whom? Samarin Trant. Something to pop off? You put your hand on that door. You lose the hand. Here we go. Who are you? I was in the battle at Blackwater and serving which king? Uh oh. The one true king of Westeros, Stannis Baratheon. Right answer. Everyone thought you were dead. Oh, he's back. Stannis lives. He licks his wounds at Dragonstone. Will you take me there? I'm thinking Dragonstone is a good place for us to avoid. Take me back there, please. 
You cannot turn Stannis against her. Maybe not, but I could carve her heart out. If you fail, they will burn you. If you succeed, they'll burn you. Stay alive a little longer, my friend. Two hundred Northmen slaughtered like sheep. The debt will be repaid, my friend. They rot in the ground while their killer runs free. The Kingslayer won't remain free for long. The best hunters after him. Find her a chamber that will serve as a cell. He was looking at his people. They were wanting him to do something. The Lannisters robbed them of their sons. She robbed them of their justice. <laughs> oh! What's your name, friend? Tywin. Tywin. Help out your son, please. Are you enjoying your new position? Am I enjoying it? I was very happy in Sand of the King. I have seven kingdoms to look after, and three of them are in open rebellion. So, tell me what you want. I want what is mine, by right. When the time is right, you will be given a position fit for your talents. And I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to Casterly Rock. Wow. Why? Why? You who killed your mother to come into the world. To teach me humility, the gods have condemned me to what you waddle about, wearing that proud lion that was my father's sigil and his father's before him. Fuck. You gotta feel bad for Tyrion. We witnessed what he did for the One city, thing. for the family. The next four I cut in your bed, I'll hang. Fuck. Shay. Lovely day for it. Watching the ships. Lord Baelish. Might I speak with Lady Sansa alone for a moment? I like how Shay looked at Sansa first. I saw your mother not long ago, and your sister. Are you alive? He's been keeping that up his sleeve. You said you'd take me home. You said King's Landing was your home. Please, Lord Baelish, tell me what to do. I'm waiting for word on an assignment that will take me far away from the capital. When I set sail, I might be able to take you with me. You're her handmaiden. She's the one yes. that got blamed for it. What out for her? I always do. <laughs> Are the dragons growing up? Holy shit! They're getting bigger! Yo! We just caught a meal, cooked it in the air, and ate it. Growing fast. Oh. Not fast enough. Your grace? That wasn't much of a welcome. I had hoped to speak to you alone, Your Grace. You are alone. Wow. I could have saved those men. You would have taken the city, Stennis would now sit upon his rightful throne, and you would stand beside him. But I wasn't there, because you convinced your king to leave me behind. But I told your son is true. Death by fire is the cure's death. Uh, woman is evil! She's a mother of demons! Take him to the dungeon, lock him in a cell. So we got the mother of dragons and the mother of demons. And this little twerp can't even walk his own streets. Why are we stopped? It's Lady Marjorie, your grace. My lady, we should have guards, my lady. Why? Pardon me. She's a brave one. Stop, my lady. But she's There's showing she's a real one. I have others. Bad men wanted to come into this city and do terrible things, but your father stopped them. Whenever you look at this night, I want you to remember your father. She's stepping right into the role. She was like, built for this. And what do knights fight to do? Protect the weak and uphold the good. Your father did that. Under King like Joffrey's Mother Teresa over here. Your father saved the city. From now on, we're going to take care of you. Joffrey needs her more than she needs him. It's a lovely girl, my lady. Yes, it suits you perfectly. I imagine you might be rather cold. Luckily for us Terrells, our blood runs quite warm, doesn't it, Loras? Yes. Cersei's hating on her because she's like a younger Cersei. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Sure she does. Yeah, she's Let our translator. Tell me of their training. Every day they drill from dawn to dusk until they have mastered the short sword, the shield, and the three spears. Their discipline and loyalty are absolute. They fear nothing. 
Vlado. Oh my god! Master points out that men don't need nipples. I want my nipples right. still. How many do you have to sell? Pina scoverdi dovo hedi lislaraski. Eight thousand. Once I own an army of slaves, what will I be? Do you think these slaves will have better lives serving Krasnus and men like him or serving you? Who it is? You'll be fair to them. We got a cloak following them. To make a point. Closing your eyes will not undo it. This is just a distraction. What in the... What the fuck? The warlocks. Warlocks? More of them. I owe you my life, sir. The honor is mine. My queen. You know this man. Is that the former? I know him. He was one of the greatest fighters the Seven Kingdoms has ever seen. King Robert is dead. I've been searching for you, Daenerys Stormborn, to ask your forgiveness. I embarrass and sell me. King's guard to your father. Allow me to join your queen's guard. And I will not fail you again. All right, guys, that was the Game of Thrones season three premiere, Valar Doharis. It was a little bit of a slower episode, if I'm being honest with you guys, but after the season finale and after the last couple episodes of season two, I'm perfectly fine with that. So we kind of got more story building to do before we get to some more intense stuff yet again. But hey, I'm perfectly fine with that. It's all about the buildup if the buildup is done right. And I feel like they started off this was a good starting point in my opinion because they started building on a bunch of things the very end there i think that was probably the most significant part of the episode is that one commander in chief from or i guess he was like the leader of the army from king's landing him i totally forgot about him because i know that he basically threw down his sword and his cloak and his guards gear and everything in king's landing because cersei and joffrey they basically stripped him of his title said he was too old or whatever he didn't do his job and then yeah basically gave up on him and he gave up on them as well he, he just had enough so yeah it's good to see that he's still around and kicking because if i'm being honest with you guys i completely forgot about him i feel like that was a big acquisition for khaleesi but i guess we're gonna have to wait and see how that plays out later down the road this season what else went down this episode we saw some stuff with Jon snow and he basically pledged his allegiance to the people that he was originally fighting against he's no longer a crow but at the same time he kind of had to do that for his life his life was on the line so i guess as of right now he's officially a wildling but I don't know if he officially, officially is a wildling, if you get what I'm saying, because it was also revealed this episode that Sam and the Crows, or the remainder of the Crows, the one that's left of them, they're still alive. I thought at one point that they were all murdered, especially that one older guy. When we saw him arrive, the one that was basically the mentor to Jon Snow, that he wanted to, or wanted for Jon Snow to take his place later down the road, so... Yeah, they're still out there, and because of that, that's going to be some future conflict for Jon Snow. He's going to have to choose sides, because as of right now, yeah, it is true what he was saying about his people already knowing about the White Walkers being around and babies being sacrificed or the male first children being sacrificed to them. So he already wasn't on board with his people because of that. So he wasn't lying. But at the same time, once he sees Sam and his boys still around, still kicking, that's going to be the real conflict for him and seeing which side he actually chooses at that point in time. Is he going to choose love, bros, or, or hoes at that point? Is he going to choose bros before hoes? Because he's got Sam there. He knew Sam before this new girl the redhead uh the one that's the main redhead from the wildlings so we're gonna have to wait and see i feel like that's gonna be probably late in the season when he's really gonna have to make that decision that's one of my that's my first prediction based off of me having watched this first episode of season three but we're just gonna have to wait and see how that all plays out i guess what else went down this episode? Oh, we saw Marjorie. I think that's her name. Was it Marjorie? Marjorette? Mar <laughs> it's Marjorie, I'm pretty sure. But uh, yeah, I said it quite a few times this episode. It seems like she was built for the role of queen. Like she slipped right into that role so quick. She's doing a better job than Joffrey is as king. That's as crazy as that sounds. Because yeah, she said last season, right after the death of Renly, I want to be the queen and she, this this girl was not lying because she's proving it now we're seeing it on full display even Cersei could see what she's doing she's full-on taking on this role so of queen even though she's not officially queen just yet but 
I will say, the stuff that she was doing at the orphanage, I don't know if it was fake or not at this point. I We don't know the Marjorie character enough. I... Yeah, we do know that she's willing to do whatever to be queen, but at the same time, she could actually have a good heart. I guess time will tell on that, but the stuff that she was doing at the orphanage, that was perfect display of like everything that you would expect from a queen or expect for what a queen to be and expect for what a queen to do. So that was phenomenal seeing that all play out and she got some of the people back on her side and Joffrey needs that. I even said this episode at one point, I feel like Joffrey needs her more than she needs him yeah she needs him for the role of queen that's all that she really cares about like even she was looking over at her brother at the dinner table when joffrey was speaking and then there was some awkwardness between cersei and joffrey so yeah they're just basically like biting their tongues like all right we're just gonna put up with this until i'm actually queen and then we'll fucking deal with this kid later but that was very interesting what was the other stuff we saw some stuff with Tyrion as well and brawn Tyrion is really getting, no pun intended, the short end of the stick because he did absolutely everything in season two. Everything right, in my opinion. Yeah, he did technically have a horror in Tywin's bed, but is that really deserving of everything that the shit that he's being given now? Because, in my opinion, no. And it was really revealed this episode as well. Tywin's true feelings of Tyrion. He's basically like, oh, we're gonna ruin the Lannister legacy by giving you that one place that was at Castle Rock, or whatever that he had requested. So I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that scene at all, if I'm being honest, because from what we've seen of Tywin last season, which I freaking loved Tywin last season. He he was the man. His relationship with Arya, that was great to see. But I even said this episode, I feel like his relationship with Arya is better than the relationship that he has with his own son Tyrion. So I just feel bad for Tyrion at this point. And then he did say also, I don't know if this is another foreshadow, but he did say, if I catch another whore in your bed, they're being hung. So I hope that is not a foreshadow for Shay because I really like Shay. I've grown to love her character. And especially because of the love that she has for Tyrion. That's like one of the only real displays of love that we see in this show, aside from the Starks as well, because I do believe that Starks actually have love for each other. But speaking of the Starks, <sighs> King Rob, he's having to be a leader. He's being a good king. But at the same time, it sucks to see because he had to lock up Cat once again. But he looked around. He was reading the faces of his people. He wanted to see how they would react to the moment or how they were reacting to his mother being out there and out and about and her partly being responsible for all those men's deaths by letting Jamie Lannister go. So... Yeah, that was a rough scene to see, having the lockup cat once again, but at the same time, I understand it. King Rob is doing his part as king. He's keeping his people in line and doing what his people want to see in order, if they're going to follow him properly and blindly, that's the stuff that they want to see. So he, he really did it for them. That, that was rough, but I was going to say, we didn't touch on or we didn't see everybody this episode. Like I mentioned at the very at the very beginning, my only prediction is, hey, maybe Theon's finally gonna get his this episode because he didn't die in season two. Maybe he's gonna finally get his at the season premiere of season three. Obviously, that didn't happen. We didn't even see him, so that was very interesting. We didn't see Arya. Who else? I feel like there's a lot more that we didn't see as well. I'm probably forgetting some people, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to run through everything, make sure I, I recap everything properly before I I call it a, a reaction. Oh. The one thing I did want to mention as well, we also saw that pirate. The pirate that I mentioned in the season finale of season two, I thought he just basically died. We actually saw the pirate again. So that was pretty cool after I had mentioned him in the season two finale. I honestly thought he was dead. So to see him come back and to actually save that one fisherman, ah, oh, the fisherman and Stannis, I forgot to mention them. Holy shit. There was actually a lot that went down this episode. No wonder why there were some people or some characters that we didn't see at all. But Stannis, man, this guy has got to get rid of that girl, that fire priestess. She pissed me off because she, it's pretty clear at this point in time that she is super evil. But the fisherman, he knew. He's, he, he even called her out, but he's going to have to pay for it now, unfortunately. Stannis, I feel like Stannis is too far gone. She, He's got, or she's got him wrapped around her finger. Yeah, it sucks that he's so far gone. We're going to have to see how that all plays out as well, but... Yeah, that's the first episode. That's the season premiere of season three. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. But yeah, that's about it for me, guys. It is super hot here. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, so I need to turn off all the lights and cool down a little bit. As always, definitely let me know what you guys saw in the comments down below. If you guys could like to subscribe, it really helps my channel grow. Until next time, I am out. Enjoy your day.
Peace. Well, I didn't smoke enough for you. Didn't drink enough for you. Wasn't full enough for you. Wasn't good enough for you, did. You play me like a yo-yo and shit. Well, I am not the one to be yo-yo. And when you put that shit on me, then I watch you leave. Let you back in. You came back in and shit on me. Drag me along for a week.